Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you out there on today. I pray that you guys are well um, on this Monday morning. Amen. MLK Day. Amen. God bless you guys all. As you guys are coming on, amen. I thank all of you. Amen. And truly, amen. We are in for an awesome time in the Lord um, this morning on the 6 a.m. poor. Amen. Truly, amen. God is doing an awesome thing. Amen. In the land and in the lives of his people. Amen. And I hope that you are excited. I pray that you're well this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me one second. Let me just try to. Um, hallelujah. Lord, we love you this morning. We love you this morning. Just as we wait this morning, just for a little while. Amen. Just let me just. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We thank God for all of you out there that are that are going to be watching, that are going to be tuning in this morning. Amen. Truly, amen. Um, there's some things that, um, that, that, that God will have me to share this morning as we continue on with the Awaken series. Um, and just so just um, and we're going to be talking about today the discerning um, the spirit of Python, discerning the spirit of Python and knowing your enemy. Amen. This is something that is very vital. It's something that, that I feel that um, every believer must know because um, along your Christian journey, you're going to find yourself. Amen. Um, just just in some places dealing with some things. Amen. if you don't know dealing with if you don't know amen what you're up against amen um you, you will not be able to defeat, defeat that thing what you don't know about amen that's why we need the holy spirit amen to really really continue just to just to just to lead us and guide us and to really instruct us even through times just like this all right so um i'll give it just a one more second amen that we're gonna journey on amen into what we're going to be discussing this morning hallelujah we thank all of you guys that are going to be coming on those of you that are going to be watching those of you that are going to be um truly man, we have been having an awesome time amen in macomb mississippi with um none other than apostle amen um, um comedy amen and his church family amen God bless him and the work of the Circle of Faith Kingdom Center, amen, in Macomb, Mississippi, man. We've been having such an awesome time, dynamic time in the Lord, amen. Uh, dynamic, I mean, revival sparks, amen, have been literally been ignited, amen. And I just really thank God for the work um, that he has given him and what things that he's going to do, amen, in that region, amen. How um i'm just excited about god amen i feel i feel this is for me amen personally this season um is different amen this this season amen you can just just, just see how things have, have 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 shifted and how things have have turned amen and i'm just excited amen just about what god is going to do just throughout the course of this year amen i know be awesome amen i mean even through the, the the darkness even through all the the circumstance and all the hell amen i really believe that we're going to persevere and god is going to strengthen us amen as we journey on to build and advance his kingdom amen in the earth amen as i always say as it is in heaven as it is in heaven so shall it be on earth amen for truly amen this is the day that the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it amen glory to god hallelujah amen just one more minute amen and we're going to amen we're going to amen start this is what what, what we're gonna have us to um discuss amen hallelujah hallelujah we thank god amen for those of you that are coming on amen god bless you we'll come back and watch the replay amen god bless all of you guys amen truly amen we are we are thankful to god amen for all of you all of you, all of you that are Jesus, we, we truly thank God for all of you, amen, that are going to be watching, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, all right, let's get started, amen. I want to just journey on. I thank you guys for just tuning in this morning, amen. I pray that um, I pray that there's something that is said that will really enlighten you and open up your understanding as it relates to, amen, the 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 things that we're up against. The one of the things that God have instructed me to is and this is why we've been discussing about um the religious spirit. Um we've been talking about just different different things that we must really guard ourselves um guard ourselves against on the things of God, things that are going to um I really feel that um the things that I grown you know, growing up just in growing up in church that that, that I had to, to learn on my own. Um nobody never never really heard nobody speak on these these kind of things or just talk about these kind of things. A lot of things that I was ignorant to um just early on and this is the things that, that, that we need to know about man if you're going to really um advance the kingdom of god and just do the work um that god have called you to do man it's so vital this is so vital man one of the things that we must know is you must know your enemy you must know your enemy man i cannot explain man um just just the importance of this and just how um how how key this is amen or if even in the midst of advancing even in the midst of just doing um the work um that god have called us to do amen you must know your enemy amen especially those of you that are called to do a work in the kingdom um like again i said growing up man we i didn't even did nobody talk didn't hear nobody talk about just the religious spirit or they didn't hear didn't nobody talk about um the spirit of jezebel the spirit of um um just the the 
spirit of python or whatever and, and we're gonna deal with this amen today and just just really just really talk about just the, the importance of really knowing your enemy um, um the bible declares amen in the book of um ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood comma let me pause there because so often we get so caught up and we get so caught up and just 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 fighting against people or or, or thinking about just our haters our naysayers or, or just our enemies but truth, truth be told excuse me the bible said in first peter chapter 5 verse 8 to be sober to be to or to be alert to be vigilant for our adversary or our enemy the devil he walks around a man like like a roaring lion he uh there says uh, for we wrestle and all, he said, First Peter chapter five verse eight says, "For be sober, be vigilant, for um for our adversary or for our enemy, who's the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking our adversary or our enemy, the devil. That's the real enemy. That's the real enemy. And truth be told, our flesh, our flesh, our flesh is also an enemy. Watch this. Our fight is not against people. Our fight is not against people." Uh, this, 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 those that are spiritual must understand that. Listen, there's other spiritual entities. Listen, that are out there. Um, that that, that are designed to stop. They're designed to um to to cause delay. The call to try to destroy. The Bible says in the book of um, the book of um John ten ten said the thief coming not but for to steal kill and destroy this is this is the this is the job of the enemy this is the this is this is the, the job of the enemy this is one of the things that he has been um designed to do the thief cometh not but to steal kill and destroy watch this it says but it says, so so what what, what it says but um but i come this is jesus that they may have life and that they may have may, may have it more abundantly we wrestle not against flesh and blood this is one of the is to steal, kill, and destroy. And watch this. Satan has a highly organized um, army. I believe I heard T.D. Jake say that 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 on one time um, on, on one of his messages talking about how you would never find um, in Scripture how you would see a demon fighting against another demon, or you would never find in Scripture um, a witch fighting against another witch. It's only when you get to the body of Christ when you have Christians fighting against other Christians and just leaders, fighting against other leaders. Satan has a highly organized army. And one of his job, man, especially in this hour, as the world grows darker, um, as, as 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 things begin to intensify um, in this present world, on um, the things that that the that, that present, watch this, man, we must know, we must know um, what we're up against. The Bible says in the book of Law, um, Paul declares that, listen, we must not be ignorant concerning the device of the enemy for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against principalities growing up listen this is this thing i get if you ask the average person the average person what is a principality i guarantee they would not be able to define it for you we, 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 they would not be able to define it for you. That just, just some random. What, what is a principality? A random church girl. They, they, we, they, they don't know. We wrestle not against principalities. Um, in other words, but but against principalities, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. What, what is a principality? We, we hear this so often, or we quote the scripture, and I really believe that that, that, we, that to a degree we really don't really know what we're fighting against. We don't know what's fighting against us. We really don't have the understanding of what we really up against, and I really believe that that's why and we, we know about authority. We we, we we know about Amen, the Holy Spirit. We know about miracles, signs, and wonders, but we don't really talk about the things that that, that that would try to stop that. We really don't talk about the things that, that, that we're really up against. And I really believe that that's why we see some movements die. We see some people um, living defeated lives. And that's why we see people now that, that in the midst of warfare, they they, they, they really don't really understand the, the, the nature of the enemy and how the enemy really works. And this is all we're talking about, um, the spirits of religion and the discerning the, the, the spirit of Python. This stuff is so crucial. What are principalities? I just want you to think right now, we're going to take our time today. We're going to take our time. What are principalities? We're just going to um, that's going to be the first thing that we deal with. What are principalities? When you really think about this thing, come on, in, in your own mind, if you really had to define it, do you really know what it is? Just take a moment just to think. Because because, because if, 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 if we don't begin, this is why teaching, the teaching of the word of God is so important. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's go here. Principalities 
are, um, and we're going to come back because we're going to deal with today about knowing your enemy. Uh, we're going to deal with principalities, powers, rules of darkness of this world against uh, spirit. Then we're going to go into our lesson, amen, because even as we awaken, even as we engage, amen, I really believe that one of the things, amen, one of um, the uh, one of the series that's going to be after this is going to be equipped, equipped because many of us, man, we have, we, we, we have, we have work to do. We have, we have assignments, the mandates that God has given us in the earth. And if we're not equipped, uh, we ought to train, equip, and then release, deploy. Um, I mean, they were send people out. I, I, that's why I love the book of Acts. Whenever they had an encounter, whenever they was able to encounter the Holy Spirit, um, that is one of the, the, the major tools that equipped them to be deployed into their assignment, into the work of the Lord. Listen, so uh, 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 principalities are the highest ranking ruling spirit assigned to territories, region, nations, and people groups. All right. I want you to get this today. All right. So um, principalities are the highest ranking uh, ruling spirit assigned to, to it's, it's a ruling spirit it's designed to, to, to take control. And watch this. It's not so much desire. Principality is not, not, not so much trying to um, possess one individual. It's after territories. It's after regions. It's after nations. It's after people groups. Watch this. These demonic forces are giving charge to bind and to hold territories all right and so you can see this um in certain regions certain states um i know like in new orleans watch this it, it was just been full of murder full of full of full of violence i'm talking about you can you can see what principalities so certain cities are known for certain things or certain certain communities it may be known for drugs it may be known for prostitution Known in Las Vegas, it's known for gambling. It's known for the sexual immortality in California, and there's another one. Watch it. It's known for the the, the 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 spirit of perversion and just just there's different things that that they be some 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 areas are known for 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 racism. Come on, we and this is the thing that we have. And no, no, nobody. If we're gonna really just be able to be effective in this thing, we have to know what we're really up against. What, 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 what spirit? What principality? What ruling spirit? Um, has has gripped your region or grip your your um your your just 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 what the territory? Amen. Or where you're from? Come on, have you really identified what you really up against? Some spirits. Watch this. Um, have the spirit of religion. Is, is considered to be a principality and a, a designed to just, just just to rip regions, people groups, and just just different even over our nation. Um, have we identified the principality, um, or the power, the ruling spirit that we're trying to grip? Watch this, our our nation is much more than just 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 us praying and watching. And then this, and this, this, everybody don't. This is something that I'm not just telling you just to go pray and just uh, you, this. You have to have a grace for this. You have to because when you're going to do this stuff, man. You you got to make sure that, that 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 you really have a prayer life. Some of us, um, if you just you just have to really be consistent, even in the area of prayer, even in the area of of, of just where you are. But I just want to just kind of let you know what we're up against. Watch this principalities. It will come in direct conflict with apostles and apostolic ministries because they're assigned to people in regions. The apostle, the apostle is assigned to regions. The, uh, the, the, um, the apostolic ministry, they're assigned, it, 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 it hates the apostle, it, hate, it hates the apostolic ministry because they're the one that govern. They're the one, listen, that, that, that really, really are, are in charge of, listen, managing different regions and as relates to people, all right? And so you see all throughout the book of Acts how um, spirits, watch this, spirits will try to, though the ruling spirits or, or, or the territorial spirits during the day of the apostles, watch this, and the spirits still, these spirits are still real present day, how they would try to stop the work, how this these spirits were trying to block and hinder um the move of God or the flow of God. Come on, they was dealing with principalities when they would go into certain regions. The things that would be stirred up, the things that would be shook, and come on, all because they 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 they, they brought an apostolic oil into the region that caused regions to be stirred. And this is why we that are spiritual. Mike, do, do I do I still have that that particular verse up here? Come on, um. One one of watches one of the spirits that 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 that, that 
more than ever now. Watch this is the gift of discerning a spirit. And what this spirit does is it empowers a believer to see the, the, the spirit motivating a person or situation. All right. It motivates and motivate. It empowers. It, it, it empowers a believer to see beyond just the flesh. Come on. You can see beyond just the flesh. Come on. You can see you can discern that you can see the spirit motivating a person. Come on. You can see past the exterior of a person um, and you can see the spirit that is motivation, motivating a certain situations. You can see beyond all the other stuff. This is why the giver, it enables you to see. You can, you can see angels. You can see when, when a person is operating in their flesh. Come on. You can see you can see demons. You can see the, I'm not, with the gift of discerning a spirit. It empowers a belief to see the spirit motivating a person or a situation in the body of Christ. This is one of the spirits that, 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 that we need now more than ever to be able to discern, to be able to see the things that are at work and the things that are at play in the midst of situations. Watch this. So so let's see. What, what, else, what, what else do we have? Come on. As we journey on, come on, we have uh, against powers, against powers, against powers, against powers. And what this is now, what is a power? What is a power? If you, if, if you really had to just... Think for yourself in this because of what you know. Um, it says, watch this. Powers are the second highest ranking spirit that carry a manifestation of supernatural power to enforce the plans of principalities. All right. Read it one more time. They are the second highest ranking spirit that carry out a manifestation of supernatural power to enforce the plans of principalities. So do you see the structure of how this thing is flowing? They, they, they understand rank. Come on. Come on. Either the, 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 the works of the enemy and then the way the enemy works, they understand ranking. They understand the ranking. It says the meaning of the word power indicates supernatural force and manifestation. These spirits operate heavy in divination, false fire, a counterfeit spirit, uh, watch this, counterfeit spiritual manifestation, and evil supernatural operation. This is stuff, man, listen, and this is why you cannot be fooled or deceived in this hour because the enemy operates heavy. Come on, the enemy. Everything that God created, Satan has also created a counterfeit. And this is the spirit that, that, and that's why you see in the book of, um, in the book of Exodus, in the book of Exodus, I believe it was chapter seven. Um, let me get this real quick. Let me get this. Um, I'm going to show you, I want to, I want to show you this, how, yes, Exodus chapter seven, that's Exodus chapter seven. I want to show you, let me show you, it says Exodus chapter seven, uh, I'm going to show you how, how this thing works and just how um, th this spirit was operating all the way in the Old Testament. We see this spirit. I'm going to give you scripture. I'm going to give you scripture. I'm going to give you scripture. I'm going to give you scripture of just how this spirit was in operation. Even in the book of, even in the book of, um, even in the book of, um, even in the Old Testament, even in the Old Testament, the spirit was in operation. The spirit was in operation. All right, so watch this, watch this, watch this. It says, then the Lord told Moses, watch this, when, when, when Pharaoh says to you, perform mirac a miraculous sign, then you are to say to Aaron, take your staff and throw it in front of Pharaoh and it will become a serpent. All right. It says, um, so Moses and Aaron went in to Pharaoh. Do you see how just the mind of God and just how God already knew what, what Pharaoh was going to ask to them? Moses already knew. God, God already given, watch this, um, um, Moses' insight on what Pharaoh was going to ask of him. And this is what we need. Come on. This is why it's so important to keep our relationship with the spirit with, with, with god intact come on because he get the holy spirit gives us watch this he gives us insight of, of, of the plans and the works of the enemy and that way when we go into certain situations we don't go into it ignorant we don't go into it blind watch it said most of the aaron when he went to pharaoh and did what the lord commanded aaron aaron threw through his staff on in front of pharaoh watch this i want to show you what, what, what's going on and how how the enemy has counterfeit spirits 
it says it kept, the enemy um as far as as far as the powers the powers the powers that was at work even in the book of um even in the old testament it says Aaron threw his staff in front of um Pharaoh and his officials and it became a serpent then Pharaoh also watched this and so he did he did what the Lord told him to do and because he did what the Lord told him to do watch what happens his staff turned into a serpent then Pharaoh also called for his wise men his sorcerers he calls for the warlocks he called for the witches and they all along with the Egyptian magician uh, magicians he says did the same thing with their secret arts these are they, they operated um in divinity watch this they operated well the the, the 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 spirit that was in operation was powers it says so one threw his staff down and it became a serpent watch this so the same thing that aaron um went with the same thing moses threw his um his staff down and it became a serpent and then watch this the egyptians the sorcerers they did the same thing that that Aaron and Moses did watch this I told you whenever God have created authentic Satan will also create a counterfeit this thing this thing operates heavy in divination false fire a counterfeit supernatural manifestation the Bible talks about even in the last day how even 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 the, the beast will be able to perform great signs and wonders and that's why we must not be deceived with just with just with just with just spiritual manifestation because even the devil y'all mean i believe this can perform watch this spirit station i'm just trying to awaken you this morning watch this watch this the bible says the bible says watch this they um they in they, they influence the thoughts and feelings of human beings seeding the thought rim with demonic lies so the powers are the spirits behind listen the thought realm they 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 see the thought realm with the demonic they listen they work hard to destroy kingdom order rule and reign do you not see what's going on they the, these are the spirits that's that are behind the influence of thoughts and feelings They work hard to destroy kingdom order, rule, and reign. Power attempt to overthrow the prophet in the prophetic ministry. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So we already discussed uh, principalities. We discussed powers. All right. And so a, a lot of this stuff just, just coming up and we, we, growing, we, we spent all our life knowing the real meaning of, 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 of a lot of things not really knowing the real the real meaning behind what this stuff really means what what am i fighting against why why am i feeling the way that i'm feeling let's go let's let's journey on watch this watch this we got, we got some more to get to so i can get the rest to you um it says ruler of darkness what a ruler of darkness they the this, this the spirit behind this is that they release deception false religion the occult they work to bind the souls of men, and uh, watch this. And um, and, and, and one in the foul of deception. This is what this is what they, they release false deception. They release um, false religion and the occult. Watch this. These 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 demons sow seeds of false um false belief system directly combating the office of a teacher. False um, principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness, against this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, so let's go. Let's let's go to the next one. We're just going to listen to this journey through this, guys. All right, so watch this. It says um, spiritual wickedness. What is this? It says they release lust for sin and depravity. Spiritual wickedness dwells in high places, the air space, and above earth. Come on, they deal with they they they, they deal with uh, they dwell in high places. Um, the, the the airspace and the, the above earth watch this both angels and demons travel through um the great um airway known as the first and second heaven come on the place where god dwells is the third heaven come on the bible says that we're seated in heavenly places um a priest of message amen just talking about how we don't fight from low places come on we 
fight from a we fight we fight from a high place. We've been seated, watch this, in heavenly places. The Bible declares to set our mind on the things that are above and not beneath. Come on, and if we're really going to really engage into this thing, you must know first of all where you're seated. The authority that is on the, the Satan is known as the Prince of the Air. Come on, he traveled through the great highway known as the first and second second heaven. Watches if our spiritual uh open we was if our spiritual eyes watch this, were open we will see the spiritual activity taking place in the heaven and all around us listen i'm telling you, every day come on and that's why that, that's why we must be sensitive um to and, and and really to the leading of the holy spirit just really sensitive um to a lot of things that are going on just around us because if we were really sensitive come on you that th there's things I'm talking about you, God, you begin to really discern. We told you the gift of the discerning of spirit. It, it empowers a believer to see uh, the, the spirit motivating a person or a situation. You will see the spirit behind the boss. They, 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 keep, they keep harassing you and tormenting you. Come on. Th those co-workers that are surrounding you. Those family members. Come on. That, 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 that are gossiping and just listen. Those people that are spreading lies. You'll begin to see... Um, you, when all hell breaks loose in a situation, you will see the spirit behind this and the operation, even, even the agenda behind COVID, even those things that, that are present day. Come on. What what spirit is in an operation? When, when Jezebel released the word curse, watch this. Even, even the words had an agenda and a spirit that was attached behind it. That's why the gift of discerning a spirit is so important. You will see past the smile and you will see the real spirit that's motivating in a person. Come on. And this is this, 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 watch this. Is it the, these spirits? These spirits are use supernatural enticements to draw people into the dark plans and to the schemes. Come on, these are spiritual wickedness. This thing, it, 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 it just as an evangelist, watch this. Uh, to the, the people that uh, the, the, they draw people to darkness as much as an evangelist draw people to the kingdom of God. So just like uh, evangelists and disciples, they win souls to Christ. This is the same enticing, the spirit of wickedness. They 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 they, they lure and they draw people into the plans, uh, and the, and the, uh, into the dark plans, into the schemes, drawing you, drawing people into gossip, drawing people and enticing them. Come on, and and, 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 and into, into traps, into luring them into schemes. This is the way that this thing is designed. And we're going, but but when, we, but when this series is over, even if you have the people that are going to be watching this, you're going to become aware of what you're really dealing with. You're going to know more about, come on, and we're going to dig deep right now. We're just on the surface, come on, but we're going to dig deep of, of the things that you want to give you, come on. So whenever you hear people talking about um, principalities and, and powers and rules of darkness and watching spiritual wickedness in high places, come on, you're going to have, listen, uh, at least an understanding of what's behind a lot of the stuff that is at Play. Come on. What 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 spirit is designed? Come on. Of uh, that have, have been trying to really cause a grip um, um of, uh, in, in your home or, or things that happen. All of a sudden now you're finding yourself under pressure and finding yourself under attack. You're finding yourself and you really don't even know what you're dealing with. Come on. All of a sudden you're finding yourself in, in a spiritual slump. You find yourself in a place where all of a sudden now things are are are, are you're, 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 what, 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 and, and, and you find yourself in, in a very hard place under pressure and you can't just just say oh no i just had a long day at work all of a sudden now you know what i'm saying you was in a place where, where where you was praying you was you was fasting you was seeking god and all of a sudden now you don't even you don't even have a desire to pray you don't even have a desire to pray we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that i got one more to go through and then we're gonna deal with this thing all right so let's see let's see right here all right and so the next thing i want to talk about what, what what are demons demons are nothing more than foot soldiers in the kingdom of darkness, carrying out the plans of ruling spirits. They're sent on assignment and vary in category depending on their practical purpose. Watch this. They're continually on the move, implementing the plums of darkness. Watch this. Attempting to create bondage in the lives of human beings. The, the spirit, they, they, they're designed to create bondage. Come on. This, this, this right here, watch it. And, and it's not just for the pastor, the preacher, or just those that operate in the five form. This is for said, these signs shall follow them that believe. Watch this, not just for the people that have title. Come on, you it doesn't matter. Your you 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 could be you could be just a you could just go to church. I mean, you could be an usher, a deacon, a musician, and listen, you still should be able to know how to cast out spirits, cast out demons. He said, In my name, you shall what cast out devils. 
Jesus gave the disciples authorities to do what? To cast out devils. Come on. And this something is, and, and they create bondage in the lives of people. They create bondage in the lives to oppress and to, to, to depress, come on, and to possess people. This is stuff that in the kingdom we ought to know about. This is stuff in the kingdom of God that, that, that we are, we need to be aware of. Watch this. And so today, the whole message, the whole meaning behind what we're going to talk about, watch this, is going to be talking about the spirit of Python. What is this spirit? What is this spirit that is in operation? What is this spirit that is in operation? What, 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 how do we know? Watch this. How do we know what this spirit is and, 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 and how this spirit, um, is in operation? What, what is it doing? Watch it. Many of us watch this. Let me ask you a question first. Um, many people that, that, that they, they feel like their, that their passion, um, or have you ever felt like your passion, uh, um, for the Lord and, and just, and just for the word, um, as it relates to your, your prayer life and praise, um, and just, just you feel, you, you find yourself in a slump. And chances are you may be dealing with the spirit. The Python spirit is a calling spirit that works to squeeze out the breath of life. It works to squeeze out the breath of life and to cut off the lifeline to God. And so look at the two main objectives for the spirit. Number one is to cut off the breath of life, which is the Holy Spirit. Watch this, watch this, watch this. It, 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 its goal is to suffocate the breath out of its victims. Watch this. Breath, air, and wind are symbolic to the Holy Spirit in Scripture. Breath, air, and wind are symbolic to the Holy Spirit of Scripture. John 20 and 22 declares that Jesus breathed his life on the disciples. He said, receive the Holy Spirit. And Acts 2, watch this, God breathed into uh, Genesis chapter, um, in the book of Genesis, the, the, um, God breathed um, life into Adam and he became a living soul. Watch this, God breathed um, breath into man. Um, and the, we know that the, 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 the filling of the, um, in Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit came as a mighty rushing wind. So breath, air, a breath, air, and wind are symbolic, watch this, to the Holy Spirit in Scripture. And the design of this, watch this, is to literally suffocate the breath of life out of an individual and to cut off, watch this, the, the, the prayer life of an individual. Watch this. Um, it, 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 it goes to choke and to suffocate the life out of us. He is trying to extract the breath of the Holy Spirit and his anointing from our lives. Watch this. Watch this. And to accomplish his deadly agenda, it would, watch this. It will remind you of your past. It will remind you. Watch it. will remind you. Come on. Have you just, just, just been all of a sudden you was just going through life or just going through just having a day. And all of a sudden now um, the wounds of your past. The, the things that, that, that hurted you the most or the, some of the some of the things, some of the most difficult situations you will have. To, this is the spirit behind. The, 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 it will remind you of your past. It will remind you of your past. Watch this. Let me. I got to correct something. Um. The quick some. Give me one second. I see. I, I I didn't put an O in this, and it's bothering me. Give me one second. All right. So, all right. So watch this. Here we go. So it, 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 to accomplish it, 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 this spirit will remind you of your past or the wounds of your past. It will surround you with ungodly influence that would tempt you to compromise the word of God. Watch this. Or, or else, or it will, it will, it will storm you with circumstances that will knock the wind out of you. And some of us, listen, you, you may be under the grip or under the pressure of, of this particular spirit and trying to figure out, listen, what, what, what's been going on? This spirit, watch this, it comes from the depth of hell and it hates the wind. I told you, it hates the wind of God. And we know that the breath, air, and wind, watch this, is all designed, watch this, it, it's all symbolic to the Holy Spirit. It would. It, 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 it's designed to listen. Choke. We know that the, the the python itself. These are large snakes. These are these are these are these are big snakes. Of eighteen to to twenty feet. Amen. They they get that big. Amen. Watch this. And they will lay and they will wait. Come on. All throughout scripture, we talked about. And this is not even 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 in the in the garden. This, this thing happened all the way in the garden of of, of eating when when whenever Adam and Eve watches encountered the serpent and and just just look how just how. The, the, the snake was really if you look at the patience that the enemy had with um had with Eve and Adam. In other words, watch this, that the, the way that the way that, that, that it waited 
to, to, to have a conversation with him. And, the, and one, one thing we know about, listen, it's different. We talk we, in the Bible, we, we, we read about the viper. We read about the viper. And the, we know that that, that, that um, when Paul was on the island um, of Malta, whenever he um, was building a bundle of sticks, watch this, and uh, the fire drove out the serpent. And, and the Bible says that it was a viper. Vipers are poisonous. But on the flip side of that, the python spirit, the spirit of python, watch this. This is, this is a spirit that will lay in wait before it strikes its opponent. Come on. It will wait. It will wait on its, its prey. And that's why the Bible says we ought to be sober, to be vigilant. By adversary, the devil, he walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. It is patient and it will Pint a believer, come on! It will, but but it was it, it, it was squeeze, it will break the bones, it will crush the bones, and it, it, it will suffocate an uh, individual. It will suffocate, squeezing out their prayer life, squeezing out their devotion to God. Squeeze in many ministries, and I'm, I'm, I'm just reading just about how many people, the people that that and I can just look back even over my own life and when when when, when um just 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 seeing now the spirit that was in operation that was designed to choke out many things. Looking back, I I can literally see and people that that. that that had great great moves of God and how there was a flow in the ministry and how all of a there, there was a there was a point in ministry where where things were just running smooth and all of a sudden now it seemed like just things came to a stop. Amen. Listen, no, what, what, what was behind the flow? What, 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 what spirits was, was behind trying to hinder um, the move of God and trying to stifle out the move of God? Listen, and we can read about this and we're going to go, we can go in a little, a little deeper as far as um, the spirit. But I want to read to you in the Dory, in the Dory Bible, in the Dory Bible, um, it says when we see the, um, the spirit um, of Python and in the Greek, um, in, in the spirit of Python, um, it says, it says that, watch this, it says, um, um, in the Old Testament, in the Darby translation, um, which was first published in the 1890 um, by Anglo-Irish Bible teacher, watch this, um, all for, um, to offer them a modern translation for the average person. It pulls out what we might not uh, otherwise have seen. Watch this. It says in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 27, if there be a man or woman in whom a spirit of python or divination they are certainly to be put to death. This is the book of Levit Leviticus, chapter 20, um, verse 27. It says, they shall stone them with stones, and um, their blood is upon them. Um, this other one, um, in Deut Deuteronomy 18, 10, and 11, the Bible declares, there shall not be found among you he that make it son of his daughter pass through the fire, that use it divination, um, use it um, uh, or, or the uh, or an enchanter or a sorcerer, a charmer, a one that inquired, watch this, of a spirit of python or a slayer, one that um continue consulted the um the dead. That's Deuteronomy 8, 18 and 10 through 11. The Bible says in the book of first um, Samuel 28 and 7 through 8, it says, Then Saul and said to his uh, said to his servants, Seek me a woman that um that has a spirit of python that I may go to her to inquire her and a servant said behold this there's a woman whom the spirit of python at uh, indoor and saw disguise himself and put on, on garments that he went and two men with him and they came to the woman by night and said I pray thee divine um divine me by the spirit of python and bring him up to me he was inquiring for Samuel um first chronicles 10 and 13 and Saul died for his unfaithfulness, and he committed, watch this, he committed against Je um, Jehovah because of the word of Jehovah, which he kept not for all, for he, but also for inquiring of the spirit of Python, asking for counsel, all right? And so do you see even in the Dorby translation, even in the long, the Young's translation, um, it's translation or sorcerer or, 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 or witch is, is, is divine, is, is translated as um, the spirit of Python. Watch this. And we're going to talk about this just a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit, because I really believe that this is one of the spirits um, that we must guard ourselves against, even even as we um, journey on into the things of God, even as we we, we, we go on um, into the things of God. Listen and watch this. One of the things that it, it attacks your prayer life, the spirit, watch this, the spirit, it can attack anyone. Watch this. You, um, you don't have to find yourself in sin. To find, listen, this spirit trying to, to slide under your door. Watch this. Paul was a man of prayer. And we, we, we the Bible says that um, um he spoke in tongues more than anybody else. Watch this. And 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 despite watch his relationship with Christ, despite watch it, despite his strong prayer life, watch it, he found himself encountering the spirit. And we're going to deal with this just a little bit. My God, this gets so good. Watch this. The Bible says this in the book of Acts, chapter 16, 
Um, and this is where we get this from. Chapter 16 says, as we went to the place of prayer, they was on their way to prayer. They was on their way to prayer. And this is why I, 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 we must not be ignorant concerning um, the device of the enemy because this, 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 this spirit it hates people that has prayer lives. People that, people that, and that's why many of you, you find yourself listen. You do good for, for you start off real good. You start off real good. You may go week, go, you may go weeks or days, and all of a sudden now, people that, that 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 you find yourself in that slump, not knowing this. Don't just take that as coincidence. The, the job of this this thing is to literally it will constrict. It will constrict. It will, it will it will slowly squeeze out an individual's prayer life. Do you find yourself going through life and you're not even praying, going throughout going throughout your day? Listen, you and you're not even reading your word. Watch this. The Bible says. Listen. It says. Watch this. It says. It says. On occasion, we went to prayer and they had a certain girl that was possessed with a spirit of divination met us and brought her masters more profit. For uh, watch this because she was she was um she was she was fortune telling. She brought her match masters much profit. Watch this because she was fortune telling. She brought her masters much profit because she was poor. Watch this, watch this. She was fortune telling, and she followed Paul and us, shouting, "These men are servants of the Most High, who proclaim to us the way of salvation." These men are servants of the Most High that claim to us the way of salvation. But it gets deeper than this. This is why I told you in the beginning. This is why I told you in the beginning. That is so critical. It's so critical. It's so critical. Let me just find this particular one right quick. The gift of discerning of spirits. Because a person can sound right and have the wrong spirit. What what this what this young lady was saying was it, it was true. It was true. But she was doing it in a way, listen, no, almost like she was mocking them. She was she was in an attempt to harass them because listen, because because in, 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 in an attempt. Um and and this, this, this spirit had a strong hold. What's it? Had, 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 the spirit had a strong hold in Philippi. It had, it had a stronghold in this region. And as it was only where the prayer watched this, it launched out an attack against Paul and Silas. And that's why it's so important that you don't get caught up in flattery. You don't get caught up in flattery. Oh man, you are powerful. Man or woman of God. Come on. This this is this is a trick of the enemy. Listen, I'm telling you. To, to, uh, don't, don't you get you, you you I'm telling you, this this is one of the tricks, and we're gonna deal with this. Come on, the the, 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 the spirit of Jezebel uses also flattery. Come on. What if Paul and Silas, what if Paul did not discern, watch this, beyond, beyond the words? What if he, what if he, what if he didn't have the Holy Spirit on the inside of him to really discern the spirit that was in operation? Come on, come on. The, the, that spirit would have still had a grip, come on, on, on that particular region. And I want to know just, just even in the, as it relates to the church, how, my God, how many, how many times we have encountered this spirit and, it, and we did not know what was in operation? Listen, listen, the whole goal, listen, this girl was nothing more than a distraction aimed to distract Paul and Silas and to get them out of their purpose. Listen, Paul, Paul was on assignment. Paul and Silas was on assignment. And to see the gospel released in a powerful capacity. They were on assignment. Come on. And many of you that are on assignment, come on. We have to visit. This is one of the spirit that we must call against. They was on assignment. They was headed to prayer. Come on. They was releasing the baby. So they, listen, they, they were minding their own business. And all of a sudden now, the attack came out of nowhere. And some of you, you was minding your own business, doing the work of the Lord. And then, and all of a sudden, an attack came out of nowhere. 
All of a sudden, you was hit from the left side, the right side, the front of the back. Come on. You was hit. Come on. Out of nowhere. Come on. It, 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 it was, it, it was just, they were just traveling. They was moving. And a distraction began to follow them. Come on. It wasn't just a thing that occurred within a one-day span. She followed Paul in silence. She, these men declaring these men are the servants of the most high she followed them saying that listen, listen these men are the servants of the most who proclaim the way the west the way of the salvation it was a distraction it was a spirit behind that there was tied up in that girl watch this and i'm just again how many times we've encountered this and we missed it and that's why we shouldn't get caught up in flattery a person with discernment would not be a person that listen that that, 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 that that does not have discernment or does not have Holy Spirit on the inside of them would have missed the opportunity to discern the motive that was that, that was operating at that time, and that's why we need the gift of the discerning of spirits to see the spirit motivating a person or a certain situation. They they was getting ready to go release the gospel in a major capacity. They was on assignment. They was doing the will of God. Come on. And all of a sudden, now a distraction arose. And that's why I said, everyone, uh, everything that is following you, it does not mean they have the Holy Spirit. Just because you have a large following or just because, come on, I don't care. Come on. You, you, a bunch of devils could be following you. And you don't even know it. Come on. And that's why you don't get caught up in flattery. But he was able to recognize. Wait a minute. My God, Jesus, come on, I don't want to get ahead of myself. This little girl was totally possessed by an evil spirit. She operated, in, watch it, watch it, in the, watch it, in the word div divination, it is translated as python. It is translated as python. Watch this. The translation of divination is python. This girl was controlled by the python spirit. It was binding that region with fortune telling. It was binding that rigid, come on, with, with sorcery and witchcraft. I remember when my wife, we was driving, come on, you, and there, there's a certain city you can drive into, and you can see large signs that says fortune telling. Come on, come on. Have you just driving on the road, and all of, all of a sudden, on the side of the road, come on, you see fortune telling. On some of our social media sites, you can see all throughout social media, you can see the Python spirit in operation. People tear a card reading, come on. Come on, and get the people, people that are operating in and, 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 and need necromancy, uh, I mean, summoning the dead. Come on, come on, people that are reading the crystal ball. Come on, they, they believe in crystals and all. Come on, all this stuff is not of God. All this stuff is not of God. Astrology and people that are following their horoscopes and all this other stuff. What's your sign? And people talking about their Libra and there's a Pisces and they're their Aquarius. The devil is a lie. Come on, you come on, you. We don't even know. Come on. This this stuff is nothing more than the operation of the spirit of Python. And if we and if we and if we're if we're blind to this, and, and oftentimes many people have accepted this as just something that is being normal. Come on. Some people are there consulting the dead. Come on. That's not that's not God. That's not God. This is it's the spirit of Python. And the spirit has it says it was. And, this, and we see it more now than ever before. We see it more now ever, than ever before. I love this because Paul was on assignment. Watch this. And his assignment was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my coincidence. It wasn't but just, but just, 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 just by something that just happened. Paul was on assignment. Watch this. To break. Come on. He was an apostle. He was an apostle. He had the authority to break the grip of that spirit that was on that region. He had the authority. And I believe without a shadow of doubt in me. Come on. God is raising up a people that are not scared. God is raising up a people that are not going to back down. They're not going to be afraid to break. Come on. Many of us, we, 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 we live in cities where ruling spirits and territorial demons have had a grip on our region for years. Come on. We, we live in cities. We live in places where, come on, the enemy has had a grip on our cities. Come on. And it's sad to say, but, this, but in most of our cities, we have 10 churches on one block and they're 
still a grip on the city. They're still, come on, and this is why the enemy hates the apostle. This is why the enemy hates the apostolic, the prophetic, the, the office of the prophet because they, 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 they can come into regions and break what's controlling cities. They can come into a city or a region and shift the very city. Come on, and I believe that in this hour we're about to see the, oh my God, it's, got, it's about to be the, the, my God, the apostle is about to rise. The prophet, the teacher, the evangelist, the teacher is about to rise in a strong and a, a strong watch it in a mighty way and they're going to break come on i'm telling you i'm telling you if if, if you have a fortune telling to in the you should not you should not be you should not be come on it's not something that you should be happy of something you should be proud of come on it's time to run the witch out of the city hey it's time to run the devil out of the city and i believe that this is what we're about to see in this hour ah uh, yekaya manso this is what we're about to see. This is what we're about to see. Yeah. This is what we're about to see. My God, this is what we're about to see. Paul, Jesus. We're gonna, I'm not gonna be able to finish this all the day. But he had yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The way the way this spirit kills is it kills by removing the breath. It kills by moving the breath. Watch this. The python spirit is a heat seeker. It identifies life by locating heat. Dead things are cold. Watch this. But living spirit, living things are full of warmth. This spirit, it looks for the move of God. <laughs> why you think, why you think, why you think it followed Paul in silence? <laughs> it was my God. What what if Paul and Silas did not have watch this discernment? <laughs> this spirit, it, 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 it my God, it looks Jesus. It looks for the, the fine people that are on their way to higher places. Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to finish this thing up tomorrow? Are we going to finish up tomorrow? Are we going to finish up tomorrow? It's almost, watch this. It followed them. Watch this. But Paul, Paul being greatly troubled, he turned to the spirit. Notice. This young woman, she followed Paul. And Silas, and she be, she was really watching as she was doing this. She was releasing witchcraft against them through her words. But Paul designed the spirit behind what she was saying. Paul discerned the spirit behind what she was saying. Watch this. This is how the devil works. When you're pressing into the fire of God, when you have a passion for prayer, when you're in longing for revival, the enemy will send a demonic attack to disrupt and to distract your pursuit. Those of you, those of Yekaya, man, so I hear you, Holy Spirit. That's why it's so important that you stay focused. And you don't get sidelined by the distraction. Stay focused and don't get sidelined by the distraction. Oh, lie. Paul identified, my God, the spirit that was in operation, although what she was saying was true. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She said the right sound, but the wrong spirit. Yeah, what you're saying is true. But what you're saying, watch this, your, 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 your spirit is off. Your spirit, your, something is off about your spirit. Come on. Paul turned to the spirit. If we ever get to the place that we can discern the spirit that's operating within a person, we will stop being mad at the person. We're mad with the people we're mad with the individual. 
because we can't discern the spirit that's in operation. Paul does not address the girl, but he addresses the spirit that was on the inside of the girl. Because why? He was able to discern, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He was grieved. He was grieved within himself. He said, wait a minute. He, did, he, he, did, he was able to discern the evil presence that this girl was carrying. Oh, my God. He was able to discern it. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. On the outside, it may have looked good, but on the inside, it was a foul serpent. On the inside, it was a snake. On the inside, it was a serpent. Come on. I wonder how many times we've come in contact with this thing and was unable to discern, wait a minute, there's a snake in operation. How many times? How many times? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's... The Bible said in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 25, said, if we walk in the spirit, if we live, if we live in the if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. It's so important that we allow the Holy Spirit to do the work that is necessary in our lives. It's so important. Come on. This, 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 this is why we're gonna we're gonna do part two tomorrow. And this is what to, to, we, we talked about today, like really discerning. Discerning, discerning. And the, the, the main thing is really know your enemy. And that's why we dealt, that's why we dealt with me just really talking about principalities and powers and rules of darkness against of this world against spiritual weaknesses that have places. This is why, this is why, and then we, we're gonna go over just we're gonna we, we, we're gonna have how do you know that you're under attack by the Python spirit? We're gonna we're gonna talk about that as well. We're gonna talk about that as well. We talked about even how how the thief coming out of the steel killing straw. We dealt with what a principality was, we dealt with what a power was, a rule of darkness, and against the spiritual. I'm telling you, this thing it comes to it. And Father, this morning, may you increase our discernment. May you open our eyes in the spirit, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Father, now, God, we yield our senses to you, God. We yield our senses to you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Our five senses, God, we yield them to you, Father. And we pray, God, that we will be more sensitive in the spirit, Father. I decree, God, now this morning, God, that even as we go through our day, Father, I decree now, God, may that may the gift of the discerning of spirits be activated in our lives. God, I thank you now, God, now for the leading of your spirit. God, I thank you now in the name of Jesus, God. God, even as we walk in your truth, God, even as we walk, God, now, God, even, even the revelation knowledge, God, the gift of the discerning of spirits and revelation knowledge, God, will be in operation in our life, Father, that we'll be able to sense God, an enemy, God, from far off, God, in the name of Jesus. Even even those times that we have missed, God, I decree, God, that in this season of our life, God, we will not be trapped up, ensnared, entangled up, or in bondage, God, because of the enemy, God, because we did not recognize the enemy. We submit ourselves to you, and we, we, we resist the enemy, God, this morning, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I decree, God, now, God, that even now, God, that you will even I decree now, Father, that even even as now, God, we release fire. We release fire, God, in the name of Jesus. God. May the fire of the Lord locate, God, every hidden serpent, God, that wait to ensnare us, God. May the fire of the Lord, God, 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 really, God we, we release this morning now, Father, the fire of the Lord, God, God, on every, on, on, the, on the head of every serpent, on the head of every serpent, God, that's waiting to strike. I decree, God, now, in the name of Jesus, that even as we start our day, in the name of Jesus, I decree, God, now we release now warring angels, God, in the name of the war on our behalf this morning, God, even as we start our day. I decree now, God, we take the sword of the spirit, dip in the blood of Christ, God, and we cut off the head of every serpent, God, in our life. We decree now, Father, we bind the works of the python spirit. We bind the works of the enemy this morning, God, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, God, that's been ever, every, soul, every spirit of python, God, that have assigned itself to our life to constrict us. I 
God, I command that it loose its grip. I command that it loose its grip. And we loose all ourselves from the grip of Python this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, God, take a time. In the name of Jesus, we loose ourselves from Satan's grip. And I decree, God, now that even as we advance into the things of God, even as we advance into new territories, even as we got in advance into those new spheres and the and new rims of the mentions of God, I decree, God, now our sensitivity in the spirit, God, will be accurate, God. We will not miss the mark in the season, God. We will not miss the mark in the season, God, in the name of Jesus. So, Kata, let it be Sakata, yeah, man, did be in the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you this morning, God, we ask you this morning, God, God, to lead us, to God, throughout this day, God, lead us, lead us, God, lead us throughout this day. Cover us, God, take our time, I decree, God, that the blood cover us, the blood shall prevail, the blood shall work for us on this morning, God, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God, this morning, God, take our time, God, Listen, I hear the listen, those of us listen, we, we I hear in the spirit of the Lord said listen that that that, that we the yeah, yeah, so there are many people that are going to advance in this hour. They're going to advance and to take territory. But we must know, amen, the things that we're dealing with. Tekata. We must know, amen, the things that we must guard ourselves against. Solaka. We must know, amen, amen, the things that we're going to be up against, the things that are going to be fighting us, the things that are going to, that will be ready. You don't get caught up in flattery. You don't get caught up. Come on. You don't get caught up when someone is telling you something nice. You don't get caught up because somebody, come on, is, 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 is letting you know. Come on. You don't get caught up in that stuff. I'm telling you, you early on in ministry, early in ministry, I'm talking about, man, I'm telling you, that's why, that's why I don't get caught up in this. I don't get caught up in a whole bunch of flattery and foolishness. I see early on in, a, in my ministry how, how I allow flattery, come on, to, 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 to stroke my ego, to fill me up with pride. I allow flattery, come on. I'm talking about the, it, 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 it open the door to the spirit of Python. Come on, I'm telling you, I'm flattery, it will, it will come in to constrict you. Come on, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. These men are the servants of the Most High. They, they, they listen, they, 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 they proclaim to us the way of salvation. It was nothing more than a trick. It was nothing more. Come on. And I believe, I believe that in this house, God said, Son, that even as we advance and to take territory. Come on, because that's what we're about to do. That's exactly what we're about to do. Know that there will be things that will try to work against you. Know there will be things that will try to cut up. There will be things that will try to work against you to stop the work, to distract you, to try to hinder your mobility. You're not, you're not going to be ignorant. You're not going to be ignorant. You're not going to be ignorant. You're going to know, you're going to know what this stuff is. You're going to know how this stuff works. Come on, come on. People, people that are scared. Of, you, you can't be, how in the world you say you're a child of God and you're scared of the enemy? You, 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 come on, I'm telling you, that's why we, we, we're increasing to prayer. God has been leading me to just really, we go, we go, we go, we go begin to do like a midweek prayer. We're going to be, we're going to begin to do a midweek prayer. We're going to do a midweek prayer. We're going to begin to do a midweek prayer, midweek prayer, midweek prayer, midweek prayer, midweek prayer, midweek prayer. And that's, it's going to lead, it's going to usher us in. It's going to usher us in. It's going to usher us in. I'm telling you. It's going to usher us in. 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 I'm telling you. I see in the room there's some things that are going to be broken. As the apostolic and prophetic oil begin to, I'm telling you, continue to be released. Watch this. I'm going to give you this. The spirit of Python, watch it. It's connected to fortune telling and the working of familiar spirits. Guys, I got to go. We can begin to learn how this stuff works, how the how this how this stuff. And so we will not be ignorant concerning the vice of the enemy. We're going to take territory in the name of Jesus. We're going to advance in the name of Jesus. So we're going to advance. We're going to take territory, guys. And listen, I'm telling you. And there's nothing else. And, and we will not we will not be distracted. We will not lose focus. Come on. That is that is that is the assignment that God is giving us. We will see souls saved. We will see, amen, souls won, amen, for the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, guys. And listen, I guess my son just let me know that this is my cue, amen. Listen, I love you guys. I love you guys, amen, to life. I love you guys to life. I love you guys to life. And I'm telling you, man, and, and as, we, as we continue to advance and do the work of the Lord, we haven't seen nothing yet. 
We haven't seen nothing yet. We have not seen nothing yet. We have not the best is yet to come. We're going to advance and we're going to take territory and we're going to win souls in Jesus name. I'm telling you guys, listen, we got work to do. We got work to do and we're just getting started. Come on. Let the work of the Lord begin. Let the work of the Lord begin. Listen, do whatever you do. Listen, like, share, engage. When we go to talking about stuff like this, this is the stuff. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, listen, people, people now, when we talk about warfare, when you talk about these kind of things, people tend to be kind of hesitant. People not knowing. Listen, if we're going we, we to live, I'm telling you, if we're going to live the life, victory, victorious lives and everything like that. I was ignorant to a lot of this stuff. A lot of stuff that we, we were teaching on, we we're talking about, I was ignorant to. Growing up, growing up, we then, then man, you didn't hear people really just break down what principalities was, what what powers was, what rulers of darkness was, and everything like that. Come on, come on, we grew, we grew just grew, you grow, rolling your ear, and, and ain't he all right, and it ain't the Lord all right, kind of stuff, and just you know what I'm saying, and it, 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 it really stuff that really didn't have no substance, something that really had no weight. Nobody didn't really, really just really break down the whole, amen, the whole just chip of things. But listen, we're going deeper, we're going deeper, and then tomorrow. We're going to go into it even more in a greater capacity. And I just know, amen, that the best yet to come, guys. So listen, like, share, engage this broadcast, guys. And I'm telling you, it's only going to get better. I love you.